Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we just arrived at the Mac Show up in York, PA, so welcome to the Mac Show. We'll take a look around here and I'll show you what I got, or what they have. They got all kinds of really nice stuff up here. You, some of this stuff you'll probably never see in your life, only at big shows like this. You've got dealers from all over the world come here. Plus they got uh, over 900 tables at this show, so let's go. All right, everybody, I'm inside the Mac show right now. I already walked around. Didn't see anything I wanted this year. Well, I did, but prices were a little too hot for me. All right, now I'm at the table at SMG War Relics. He's got a YouTube channel. If you want to check his, out his videos. Funny, I'm there. Really cool stuff here. All right, here's Dante from uh, SMG. All right, he brought a Luftwaffe general sword here. Just check out how beautiful that is. Boy, that thing is so nice. Any offers on it yet? Uh, everyone wants to know how much it is. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That's okay. It can stay with me. Oh yeah. Had a chance to buy one of these back in the 80s, which I should have done. Now you can't touch them unless you're a millionaire. There's some beautiful badges he's got. Mind if I put you on my video? God, no, I don't. All right. There's Miss Hannah Fuchs, everybody. Hi. Hmm. Now, this is uh, Billy Kramer's. He's from Vermont Military. So he's got a website. Pretty cool dude. Check out all his stuff, man. He's got some incredible stuff there. A lot of real nice SS stuff in this one. Cuff titles and Belt buckles. Yeah, that's incredible. There are some uncut slip or eagles there, cloth eagles. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting yours there. No, no, you can't do mine. <laughs> some really nice World War One American items. Six division. G1 flight jacket. And we'll have a stack of uh, uniforms in the back there. How do you pronounce your last name, Russ? How do you pronounce your last name? Smith. 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 <laughs> uh, CL. All right. Here's his business card, Russ Cialpi. We do shares together. Real cool guy. Oh, check out that helmet. First Infantry Division. Nurses uniform.
And this one says flight instructor uniform. I'm not sure what country these are from, but they are pretty nice looking. A bunch of different swords from different countries. interesting sword now this guy here he makes these helmet stands for, from the, they are so cool for the headgear Civil War oh that's cool yeah oh, man I like that pretty nice yeah they're all amazing and then we also uh, them too. If there's any ID information or anything you have there. Alright. If you're interested in one of these, contact the guy here. Here's his card. Here's a really nice 101st Airborne uniform. Enlisted man. Really nice patch. Bomber jacket from the 5th Air Force. Jump jacket. And from the 17th Airborne. There's the guys. Hey, can, I, can I bother you again to babysit? There's a really nice Africa Corps Most Demand jacket. That one's really nice. Don't take pictures of me. No, I won't. We got a real nice navy jacket. It's kind of neat though, isn't it? Yeah. Take a look at the boy and eagle on this one. Now here's a really small uh, navy jacket for a little kid. I guess the mother made this for her little kid where her, the father was in the Navy. Pretty cool. These guys have got a lot of stick pens. There's a loof off a flak officer uniform. You get the jacket, the pants, and the hat here. There's a real nice SA cloth insignia. Apparently, it was cut off something. And some real nice pickle helms. And I'm not too sure. It might be World War One German Navy. I'm not too sure on that one. There's a real beautiful pickle hobble. Some real nice helmets in there. A nice SA Kepi. All right, here's some rifles. Photographs in this display. There's some really cool knives. All right. And if you're interested, here's the guy's business card. I'll put your business card on my video here. Pretty cool statue here. Got a Luftwaffe officer. I guess he's a pilot. 
Coming up with some really nice medals in there. A lot of really nice badges in there. I'm not sure, but I think this is an Italian hat. Really nice embroidered insignia on there. Really nice signals tunic. All right, now I'm at the table of the ruptured duck. Bill Shea, if you know anybody know him, he's always got awesome stuff. Lots of stuff in the back. Get some amazing stuff here. Yeah, I mean, you There's a beautiful radio. Yeah. There's an awesome grouping. Got the dagger, some medals. There's this German cross. All right, now we got a loof off a of general's cape. Real nice bullion eagle on there. All right, for 300 bucks, right? All right, three and a quarter. <laughs> All right. Some real nice American helmets. I was just carrying, I was just joking around with one of the dealers I know. That's what that was about. Real nice second pattern loof off the dagger. K98 bayonets. Really? Hey. Oh, That's pretty nice. Here, let me give you that money now. I just sold it. Signed photograph of him one. This guy's got some really nice helmets on this table. SDSS jacket. Adolf Hitler ring road sign. Nice daggers. All right, people, check this out. There are some gorgeous SS hats. Can't help the glare, it's in a showcase. But 
check that one out. And that's so nice. I heard that too, but I don't think they had that kind of money. I don't think they needed a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Very early SS Kepi from the 1930s. SS Police Division cuff title, SS belts, Panzer Beret, How are you? Got some beautiful daggers here. Okay. Coffee good? Yes, I'd like some. Oh, you got to see the boys. General's police hat. How much fan in? That's all right. <laughs> that would been my thrill for today. <laughs> Tons of money in that case. All right, check these out, people. Heavily embroidered. You won't believe the embroidery on this unless you see it up close. And this thing is gorgeous. And here at this show, we got a lot of authors here you can enjoy the photos making books or writing books and then they'll Look sign them for you. <laughs> Now back here on that table, we got two beautiful field marshal uniforms. They are beautiful. There's a loof off of General's visor cap. Nice Navy Admiral's uniform. There's a dealer here. All he has is just Russian stuff. Keeping around. What are you, uh, what you ask them to do I have no idea what this uniform has. Real nice embroidery on the end of the sleeve, though. And here we got a whole bunch of World War One uniforms, American. Beautiful patches on those. And up there they got a whole bunch of big posters. Real nice patch on that one.
and they're just hats and uh, different kinds of stuff. Now, I'm not sure what this is, probably out of a castle, but man, this thing is huge. And if you want, you can buy a U.S. Navy warship mess table. I'm prior service Navy, so I've, I've sat at these many times on the USS Ranger aircraft carrier from 82 to 85. There's a whole bunch of U.S. stuff. And Japanese helmet and bugles. Signals. There's a life vest for a German Luftwaffe. That's pretty nice. And here's something. Looks like it's got Himmler's signature on it. There's a really nice uniform. Nice flags. Yeah, I think I got like seven swords. There's a veteran bring back grouping already in the frame. Pretty nice helmets. And he's got some U.S. stuff, helmet liners. And we got a bunch of old muskets. And bayonets. Found everything from every war at this show. There's a complete SA tunic for sale. Comes with the pants, the belt, the buckle, the dagger, and the backpack. I'm surprised the inflation. Okay, this thing here is really nice. Sculptor of a cowboy. There's some Japanese items on this table. This is a mine training aid. So much, so much for incognito. So anyway, he comes over. He's here, pretty cool. Some hats on a skull stand. Japanese tunic. There's the Japanese machine gun. There are some really nice Japanese swords, samurai swords. And this, I guess, an old time samurai helmet. Yeah, like I say, you find it all here. And I've got some Vietnam stuff here. Real nice Marine Corps jacket. 
Beautiful uniform here. That's uh, you know what? It's better to be a yeah, the double check thing rather than yeah, you have to pull that if you want to read it. I don't just collect the German stuff, I like the Marine Corps stuff too. Incredible grouping in there. There's a uniform of Captain Edward Hagen. It's a beautiful uniform. And here's the information on the captain. Pause that if you want to read it. There's some German silver. I stand off to the side because of the reflection. There's a beautiful black loof off a tunic. Deutschland of Ock. Yeah, your best bet is Back there are some more Russian stuff. This guy's got all kind of swords. Yeah, I do. I got a guy. You saw my whole table full of ordnance. I sold one. I sold one like that in November, and I had it in another I think I sold it for seventeen. I sold. So I made money. I was tank rounds. There's a couple of U.S. things. Some really nice flight helmets. Some ordnance. Couple nice rifles. I can put your business card on here if you want. See anything on the table here? You can contact these people here. So that's a gimbal you have in your hand? No, that's just a selfie stick. Just a selfie yeah. stick? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, does it work like a gimbal? Uh, Not really, no. It's stationary. But, but it, the, uh, the whole stack of real nice German newspaper, newspapers. Uh, kind of really nice books. There's a replica of an MP40. The muscle they have is lazy. The body always has lazy. Nice low shoot helmets. No, go. Okay, keep talking. Uh, <laughs> There's a real nice Bob uh, War Bonds poster. A uh, really nice frame. It's an old saddle. It's got a USMC canteen on it. Really nice embroidered flag blanket here. Long may she wave. That's a really nice blanket there. 
This guy's got some really nice wings and infantry badges. A whole bunch of purple hearts. Silver star, bronze star. May I have your attention in the hall? Serena. John Castorino, please come to the front desk for your free t-shirt. Thank you. Really nice medals in here. Some victory military here. Got all kinds of nice hats. Some U.S. helmet here. Yep. We got swords. A whole bunch of nice guns here. A nice German tunic. Like that RAD one there, it's nice. Infantry uh, Waffen Rock. There's an interesting hat. Not sure what it is, but pretty. Got a whole bunch of U.S. officer visor caps from World War II. Flight goggles. There's a real nice Marine Corps rising carrying bag. Paratrooper patches that go in a hat. And there's a really nice blanket. It's got all kinds of patch of cinnamon on it. Things really nice. First Airborne borders the edges all the way around it. And here's a U.S. Major's uniform, combat gear on it. There's some interesting uniforms. embroidery on that one. There are some boards there with all kind of bayonets on them. Some really nice stuff in the cases. All right, here's a beautiful Hitler youth. <laughs> We've also, well, I'm not gonna hold this, but here, I'm not gonna hold it up for the recording, but I will set it down. We've also got this, and he just pulled out a Hitler youth flag for me. I think it has one ring left too. Okay. Yeah. All the bullion left. A couple yeah. period repairs too, which we always like to see. Right. Yeah. Gives a character. It does, it does, yeah. Shows it was used. They can remember you're right. We have a youth flag. I'm like, yes we do. There's an interesting Vietnam helmet, nicely painted up. This table, there's a lot of Vietnam stuff on this table. 
Well, I just found a jacket here with three stooges painted on the back. That's pretty cool. There's some more U.S. items. Got a nice Marine Corps helmet with cover on it. Nice paratrooper jump jacket. And if you're looking for patches, they got them. And then they got cases of them and ribbons. You got to buy a whole case of the patch you want. I guess that's for the serious tax collector. And here's a uh, home front bank. It's Hitler as a pig. And here's an overcoat of the Kriegsmarine, German Navy. It's got the dagger on it. And then here we got an infantry Waffen rock. Braid jacket. The Luftwaffe flak uniform. And real nice goggles on the helmet. And here's an SS Italian hat. It's got the Italian insignia on the side and it's got the German SS skull on the front of it. There's an infantry uniform. And they got a lot of different medals in there. Nice helmets. Real nice police tunic here. Yeah, we're coming around here and we got a whole bunch of flags on the table. Got some pennants, podium banners. Now we got a real nice bunch of helmets here. Police helmet. Another one. A bunch of loof waffle ones. Yeah, I knew that. Armies. And here's a bugle with the flag on it. That's really nice. See you later. Hey everybody, I'm here at the Max Show and look who I run into. Amanda Wyatt from Hello. Uh, Epic Artifacts. Don't be jealous everybody because I'm with the most beautiful dealer here in the show. He thinks he's going to get a discount because he said that. Well, you told me 50% of anything, right? All right. Fire sale. <laughs> All right. How's the show going for you? It's going good. That's great. It's going good. It's nice. It's, an, it's been a nice turnout so far. Looking forward to what tomorrow's going to have. All right. Um, so it's been a nice mix of everything. It's right, been well, steady. Okay, good. Well, it's good seeing you. Nice seeing you too. Thank you. Now, check out all this stuff. This is uh, Epic Art Artifacts, if you're interested in any of it. They got some amazing stuff here. Excuse me. Here you go.
this Red Cross target. Alright, this is really nice here. We've got another blanket and it's got all kinds of patches on it and it's and embroidered with the EGA on it. Real nice stitching on that EGA. A lot of patches. I'm not too sure what these are, but it looks like some kind of pouch cover. And here we go, we got a lot more helmets. Wish I could afford them nowadays. Probably never be able to buy another helmet unless I get it off a friend. They sure are nice. There's some World War One pickle hobbles. These are really nice. Nice eagle. All right, I'm at Johnson's table, man. If you want, to talk about gorgeous daggers. There's a Hitler Youth leader dagger. It's not a Hitler Youth knife. There's a bunch of gorgeous swords. <laughs> This is super nice. Good point. Oh. Not so much as Militaria, but... Got some real nice army ones. Luftwaffe. I have your attention in the hall. Your attention in the hall. Kriegs Marine. We are now taking reservations for the Max 2024 show. There's Kepi. Anybody want to come out to the front desk? Oh, I forgot to get this. I'm back at Epi Artif Epic Artifacts, and here's their SS great coat. And this thing's a beauty. Deutschland Kopf title. SS armband. Unfortunately, they got a hot swastika on them. That shows. They got another table in the middle where you can't get to, but still a lot more helmets on there. SS, and they got uh, visor caps, some uh, police Seiko helmets, and a beautiful collection. And we got a Panzer uniform. I guess that's uh, SA or political, probably that one there, but it's a pretty nice one. Japanese medals. There's their card if you want to look at their website. And there's a beautiful Japanese flag. I love that uniform. SS chain dagger here. I just think it's beautiful. And on the table there they got a bunch of more daggers, SAs. 
armies. Place bayonets. They've been picked up and put down so many times. We had them neatly arranged. Yeah, that's right. why with people, a lot of people like to flip with their hand, or you know, flip with their hands instead of their eyes. All right, have a good show. Thank you. Yeah, we've got a bunch of different Civil War stuff here. different buttons. There's a real, real nice police tunic. Okay, now I'm at Tom Whitman's table. He's the king of the daggers and the swords. That guy's got so much incredible stuff. Look how nice these are. Official dagger with, with a hanger. Bunch of armbands. There are some real nice Navy daggers. It's a Panzer Waffenrock Paris uniform. All right, if you watch his videos, he did a video, an unboxing, a while back, and uh, U.S. He sent this to Australia, and Customs had deliberately destroyed it. So you can see over here, they just cut the shit out of this armband, the sleeve, and cuff title. They cut this all up, you know, just... You can see how it's all... Right here, it's all cut up. And then on the sleeve here, they cut it all up. Ruined a beautiful piece of history. Here's Thomas Whitman's table. If you never watched these videos, go in there and watch these videos. He does unboxings about once a week. He gets some incredible stuff in. Beautiful SS daggers. Forestry daggers. And he gets uh, not just daggers in, but he gets this kind of stuff in too on his unboxings. And bugles. 
There's a really nice wooden eagle. Color insignias, and belts, buckles. And here's a whole case of miniatures. Now this is really nice. That was in his last unboxing video. A pole chopper and somebody put it on a nice little stand and they put a, a Iron Cross second class on it. And on the very back of, the, of it you can see it's also got a ribbon for the Iron Cross second class. I like the goggles on this one. This was on, also on one of his unboxings. Real nice police helmet there. But like I say, helmets nowadays are out of my price range. There's some nice U.S. uniforms. There's a general's helmet. from a soldier that was in uh, China Burma India Theater. There's a beautiful uniform from a third infantry division. That's the one Audie Murphy was in. Some really nice guns and muskets. There's a beautiful flag. Friends is on it. Here's a really nice U.S. Army dress uniform. Got these medals. Beautiful World War One uniform. I just realized. Look at the embroidery in this. Well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, he's taking the photograph. Yeah. He's going to take the paper off for me. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah. All right, here it is uncensored. And this thing is beautiful. I like, do you remember years ago, Steve Wolf had a set. He was displaying some of Hitler stuff. And the people of the show were told by the owners of the hall, you've got to take it down. So they went and told, I think Whitman and Johnson went and told Steve they've got to take it down. And Steve said, well, if I take it down, I'll never come back again. <laughs> they said, leave it up. Yeah, why don't you do that? How many tables do you have? Yeah. Okay, so, Check out that burger, that's real nice. Jim! Jim! I think I was on the phone calling you, you didn't need them. There's a bunch more U.S. stuff. Patches, hats, fill gear. World War One items. It's October. 
There's an MG34 on a stand. Right now it's being used as an anti-aircraft gun. Uh, we got some more Civil War items here. Got nice jackets. This one's identified. <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> Alright, on this one we got some real nice World War One items. Real nice helmets. Swords. Silver Star. Uh, now we've got some airplane propellers. This one here is probably six, seven feet long. Nice one off a of Piper Cub. Bunch of nice warm air crosses. Another police general's hat. It's a Hitler Youth Leaders hat. Political. A lot of good stuff in here. Ooh. Some really nice uniforms here. Hands are wrapped. SS. If I had the money, I'd buy this one. There's a bust of the Fuhrer, but unfortunately it shows the dealers are forced to lay them on their table. They can't stand them up. Lord, have, have mercy if somebody gets offended nowadays. Really nice helmet there. Another dealer's got some outstanding items here. I love these little banners. They're real heavily embroidered. Got the fringes on them. Real nice gorgets. Talking big money here. Now behind them there is, can't see if it was a glare, but they got a table behind there with a whole bunch of real nice hats on there. Some real nice loof off of swords. Some B-52 
beautiful S8 cuppies. Those are really nice. There's some real nice divers helmets. And uh, this dealer here, he brought his little, he said he brought his family with him. He's actually got three yeah. live rabbits with him. The rescues, they're all rescues. Rescues, all right. Yeah. Thanks for doing that. Thank you, appreciate that. Somebody's got to do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll help any animal we need, you know. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not a dog cat person per se, but I help, you know, I network with other people too. All it's right. It's okay, this dog needs a home. Just, you know, yeah. They tell me the same thing about rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah I'll, I'll take an animal as a friend any day of a person. You don't answer tough words. Yeah. You can help with the animals. Because we do, we do our rage bad stuff. Too. This guy's got a really nice cutaway model of a tiger tank. See the real good detail on the inside of it. And then there's the U505. Big wooden model. It's about, I don't know, maybe three feet long. It's for sale. Pretty cool. And some kind of a machine gun on top there. Got some real nice U.S. uniforms, Navy one, 4th Armored Division, one 2nd Infantry, 3rd Infantry, more World War I uniforms. Really nice rifles here. One on the top here is a Johnson. That one's really cool. M1 M1 Grands and two muskets on the bottom. Real nice, heavy three rifles on top. All right, I'm here now with uh, Regimentals. They have a real nice YouTube channel also. Uh, look at this Africa Corps hat here, man. That's super nice. Really nice Africa Corps hats. Like I say, it's regimentals. Now we got some more SS uniforms. That's <laughs> awesome. Here's an interesting flag. 14 star, excuse me, 34 stars. It says, uh, Swallowtail Cavalry got on. And that thing's beautiful. More muskets. More nice swords there. <laughs> Civil War pistols. Yeah, look at this one. That thing's beautiful. Okay, thanks. Oh, 
There's a police officer's uniform. Some ordinance here. Bunch of nice World War II American helmets. SS uniform, field marshal's uniform. No, but a man was shot down and killed in his BF-109 by squadron leader Jamie Rankin. My guy, 19 victory, Night Cross, what's that shit? There's some more Russian post-war uniforms. And here's a post-war Luftwaffe uniform. I think that's Luftwaffe. Love the cover on that one. Dealer just told me this this is a father-son grouping. World War One through Korean War. But man, that's look at that man, that thing's beautiful. I don't know where Sully found it, but the like, rest he of it. has done all sorts of research on this. Alright. His father was a balloon operator on the USS Massachusetts. Okay. Yep, very nice. Real nice Japanese tunic. Mountain troop. Nice uniforms there. Some more U.S. uniforms. There we go. Now you can introduce yourself. Hi everybody, collectors. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Richards, and here we are at the Max Show in uh, York, Pennsylvania. Right? Right. What's today? The date? Fifteenth, I believe. The fifteenth of September, 2023. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> and I'm here with my good friend, Kenny Reese. Kenny Reese. And I think we want to talk about some of my stuff today, if you want to. Sure, that'd be great. Okay. Th this guy's the king of the NS. Uh, I'm the king. NSKK stuff. I'm the king of the NSKK. That's right. <laughs> He's got it all. Very knowledgeable of the NSKK thank you, organization. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank all you. Right. All right, go ahead. Hello, collectors. So we want to talk today, I think, about some of my tag daggers. Right. So here we have, I've got two cases I brought with me. Uh, and as you can see, these are NSKK, but also what's interesting about these, these are also SA. So if you look at them, sometimes they would, it would be a black scabbard and they would paint it brown because they needed an SA. So we found several of these that have been repainted, which is interesting. And of course they have the unissued tags around the grip. Yeah, It's been there for, you know, what, 80 years, fastened by the metal rivet, which is why I like these so much, because they're impossible to fake. Right. Once you squeeze the rivet, you can't unsqueeze it. Yeah, it's, that's fascinating how those tags lasted for that's so long. long. Right? It's amazing, which is why I like them. So here, this shows uh, what the tag looks like when they were torn off. 
I found this on a pole top, and this one's a fake. Um, if you if you feel the paper, it's much thinner, a different feel. All right. And the ink that they used over time, it colored differently than this ink, so they used the wrong ink, and even the hole is incorrect. All right. So that's a fake. What's your eagle off of? Yeah, so this is a trolley eagle. Trolley, okay. And it's real. You can tell these are internally threaded, and you have the V's. Those are the uh, stamp marks. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a real one. It's been verified. Very lucky to get that. And these are some more. Some more of my collection. You see, some of them they actually attached them to the scabbard ring, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. And uh, I've got two more boxes like this at home that I didn't bring. And I found one. This right here represents one year, one and a half years of blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> trying to get this damn thing. But I finally got it. And what's interesting is, if you look, you'll see a real dark line right here. So this used to be NSKK and they painted it brown. How do uh, I know? If you look on the other side of this tag, it says NSKK. So that was black at one time, but they needed an SA so they would paint them. And we and I've got a couple over there like that. So that's always interesting. Yeah, it's a little historical anomaly there. Really nice. Yeah. So I'm so happy to get this. Hmm. I mean, I've driven six hours. I know people that have these, and I send them birthday cards, Christmas <laughs> cards, love letters. You know. Yeah. How's the kids? <laughs> Just in case they want to sell right. one. Yeah. But uh, so we come down. And these are some NSKK items I have here. You know, these are some shooting awards. And they were really good at, um, they would stamp these for like races from Berlin to Frankfurt. Oh, that's they, interesting. Yeah, they would have these competitions and they would have these different colors. And so these are fun to collect. They made a, they made a whole bunch of these for different events. And uh, as you come down here, you see this is a dedicated NSKK one to, uh, to a guy in a unit. That's pretty cool. It's one of my favorites here. This is the one with the original issue bag. You never see that. One of the most beautiful blades I've ever seen on this one. Yeah, it sure is nice. It really is something. And this is kind of a neat little grouping of this guy and what he was awarded. I kind of like that. And of course, when are you going to find one of these? Oh, look how beautiful that is. So I got a call from Rob Juan Wynan. Uh -huh. I, know, Wynan. I know him. And he said, hey, I got something you might be interested in. So there was a box. I bought the box. The veteran was in North Africa. And there were several tunics in those M43 caps. Right. Well, this was wrapped up in a sock in one of the tunics. Oh, man. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a great story to mm. it, so I really enjoy that. All right. But, uh, yeah, so you want to look at the helmets and the hats up there? Or? All right, go ahead. I love the keppies. Yeah, so these keppies, yeah, they never. I never take them out of the box. These things are basically mint. I don't like to use the word mint, but they're pretty darn close. This is in the... Uh, uh, I think the NCO and this is the officer version. Okay. And down here I have two Marine uh, NSK case. I have the Marine enlisted with this lovely vertical hanger and the officer uh, uh, Marine as well. But uh, most, about 50% of that wash has gone away over time. But uh, that enlisted one now, they even gold plated the clip. It's really beautiful. I love it. It's also a ground drone. All right. So here are the helmets they used to use. This is the first model Eagle, second model Eagle. And rarely will you find helmets. Look at the lacquer on those. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's unbelievable. These are the best I've ever seen. So I had to pick them up right away. Usually that gets worn off real mm -hmm. quick. And of course, the uh, Gorget. I got an interesting story about this Gorget. I was out with the SOS show. I had a man walk up with his son. He was in the LA Police Department for like 35 years. He goes, that's my badge number, 10383. Mm -hmm. He takes out his LA Police Department, 10383. Isn't that something? Yeah, cool. What's the chances of that happening? Oh, man. You know? So yeah, this is a little bit of my collection that I bring to the shows. I just like to share them with people, you know, because it's a lot of fun. What's the right. use of having this in the closet? You can't talk to people right. about it. But uh, yeah, so. All right, I really appreciate you. No problem. Give me
Well, hi everybody, I'm here with my friend, Mr. Tom Whitman. Hello there. And uh, I brought something in to show you. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a trip down memory lane for you. Remember those? Oh, they're Gallagher. They're Gallagher magazine. And inside here, that goes back to the early 80s? Or? No, late 80s, early 90s. And there, there is your, oh yeah. Uh, Tom Whitman, collector of, of uh, Okay. That is my ad. From, uh, what's the date on it, Mark? Uh, yeah, this one here, yeah, March of 1990. March 1990, that's a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Prices <laughs> wow. are going up a little bit. I think a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. save yeah. on for you. It's going yeah. very good. Yeah. 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 A lot of sales. The only trouble is, I wonder if you have some of that stuff. How am I going to replace it? They yeah, always seem to run across something. Me and my brother, we watch your videos every week. We love them. Do you have any plans for your number 100 video? Uh, I am thinking about doing something. Uh, I got a little suggestion. I, I would suggest maybe you and I could uh, well, I'd come around where you stand and maybe toast each other and say, uh, That's a good know, idea. Yeah. Except then they'll see what I'll be. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> they always want to see what it is, so we like it that we, he likes it that they don't know who it is. Yeah, I was kind of curious if you were just going to do something special on your cookie, yeah. but, uh, but you didn't, so, so number 100 is special, so you should, you should do something special we'll figure out something. number 100. But, Good idea. But, uh, I, like I say, we really enjoy your videos, and look, 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 look forward to them every week. Yeah. Have a good show. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Yes, sir. Thank you. There's a real nice loof off a of uniform with the visor hat. Table four of swords, bayonets. Nice uniforms. The boots. Holsters. This guy's got a whole table full of nice helmets. There's a control column of an aircraft. And a control stick. Some more real nice swords. Craig's Marine Commander's uniform. I say commander because that's the equivalent of the U.S. rank. There's a real nice, I guess that's a ship's telescope or a pair of binoculars. Some more really nice helmets. World War One. There's the uh, U.S. Air Corps flak helmet. There's a different style of flak helmet. There's a really nice painting. 
Really nice uniforms here of a field marshal. Mm -hmm. Mountain Troop Field Marshal and it's uh, police. Walter Kunze's uniform. I come here every year. Some real nice helmets. Shoulder boards. Some real nice SA insignias. Watches. Some more nice helmets there. Got a couple of them's got battle damage to them. World War One, World War Two one. Probably gave him a headache. Some Japanese canteens. Well, that's the end of the Mac show for, for this year. I was able to buy just one thing I was looking for. I got a uh, Lufafa officer's visor cap. I was looking all around and uh, found one right before I left the show. So I thought I was going to leave here with the same amount of money that I come up with, but I didn't. But it was good to see everybody again. I've seen some of my Facebook friends and, and uh, a bunch of dealers I know from doing other shows in there. I'll do that. I'll do a video on that uh, loof off a visor cap at a later time. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.